Hello, everyone. My name is Ricardo Carrillo Cruz, and, um, and this is uh, our final project uh, presentation. It's called HS Detector Web App. Next slide. So a bit of outline for the presentation. So we'll go through the problem statements of what we're trying to achieve, uh, the solution we came up with, um, how we got to the solution. Uh, we will do a live demo, and then we'll talk about future uh, applications. So the problem, so what is actually hereditary for cytosis or HS from now on? It's a, a blood, an inherited blood disorder affecting red blood cells. It's characterized by the presence of spherocytes. Spherocytes are red blood cells that are uh, smaller than normal ones. Uh, they are sphere-shaped and they're, they're fragile. Um, they're prone to rupture, especially when they go through the spleen. Diagnosing the condition uh, can be expensive and time-consuming. Uh, typically, the technique use can be genetic testing or something it's called uh, osmotic fragility test but those are things that they're not available in every hospital next slide here you can see two blood smear pictures on the left you can see from a um, patient having the condition and on the right from a healthy one i think you can clearly see the difference between the spherocytes and the normal red cells the spherocytes are darker they are uh, rounder and they do not have a pallor in the center next On a personal note, so this is a picture of two of my three kids, uh, Romeo and Mario on the right. They both have the condition. Uh, Mario has the severe form. He went through surgery three years ago and he got the splenectomy. Romeo uh, has the male form and he has been asymptomatic so far. Um, they're both healthy and happy kids uh, today and they've been the inspiration for doing this project. Next. So the solution. So we have built an application we call it HS Detector Web App. So it's an application in which a patient or, or a physician can upload a blood smear picture. That gets sent in the back end to the model and the model will identify each one of the cell types from the image. And the application, will, will it will tell you if the patient has the condition depending on the presence of his first sites or not. Next. As for the process of how we build the application, so we use multiple um, um, blood smear pictures data sets from patients having the condition, from healthy patients. Um, we uh, um, annotated those images by creating bounding boxes in each one of the cell types. We also did data augmentation by uh, doing uh, um, um, cropping and by doing flipping and by doing rotation of the images to increase the, the size of the data set. With that, we trained three different models, uh, Mascar CNN, and RichinaNet, and SAM by Meta. We found the model um, um, of SAM to be the best performing. We got a mean average precision of 80%, and that's what we use in the back end. As for the application, we just use the Streamlet uh, for the front end, and on the back end, the SAM train model is hosted at Roboflow AI. Next. And with that, I pass it on to my colleague, Alvaro, who's uh, going to do a live demo of the application. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, so thanks, Ricardo. Uh, we're going to do a quick demo, as Ricardo said. Uh, here's the app. Uh, here's where you can upload the, the blood smear image. Here is a small about page uh, with some info about the project and about ourselves. And for this testing, uh, we're going to use two images from the American Society of Anatology Image Bank. Uh, which is a data set that wasn't used for the training, so it's totally external from what we used uh, to create our model. Uh, so let's do the testing. First, we're going to blow the normal blood smear. And here, as you can see, uh, there is a legend for the for each color of the squares. And uh, the output is the model has not detected spherocytes in the image. It is unlikely the patient has hereditary spherocytosis. So now we're going to do a test with a, a blood smear image, which actually has spherocytes, and see what the model outputs. In this case, as you can see, uh, there are red squares and the model output uh, says that the model has detected 46 ferrocytes in the image. It's possible the patient has hereditary spherocytosis, so please consult with a doctor. And we just want to remind everyone that it's just a tool 
And of course, uh, for any uh, medical advice, uh, everyone should seek uh, a professional for actual advice. Awesome. Thank you, Alvaro. So if we go back to the slides, as for future applications, we believe that this application approach could be actually used for detection um, additional blood disorders in, um, in particular, sickle cell anemia and thalassemia by training the models uh, uh, using blood smoke pictures having those uh, conditions. Next slide. And with that, you know, uh, uh, this is the team. This is, uh, you know, the people that uh, that have done it. Claudia, Alvaro, Afonso, myself, uh, Murat. I also want to extend, you know, the thanks to Ben and Ido for all their help. And yeah, I hope that, you know, you like the presentation as much as we did doing this project. And thank you.